Okay, so these are the period five problems worked out. Look at this first one here. It goes log, 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 all these logs. But the issue with this problem was, is that at the very end, it said log base 22, but the object that usually goes here, what's left empty. So since there's nothing there, it's like my hands are again tied, right? My hands are tied. I can't really do much. Now, if you had put a, like a letter X, then, you know, I could have done the problem. And, but as is, uh, this cannot be done because really, if anything, as is, all of this here, you see all that there? That's just a number, like a decimal. And let's just pretend that, that all of this on a calculator was like the number five. It's not, but just pretend it was. What does the graph of y equals five look like? It's a horizontal line. And they want the inverse, right? Now, the inverse of a horizontal line is a vertical line. So this guy here, this is basically like y equals some number p. And so the inverse of y equals a number p would be x equals p. So I'm calling this my answer, x equals p, where p is all of this here right there. But of course, you would really have to put a number there or an x. But if you put an x, then I would have found the inverse of this gladly. <laughs> but as is, that's what we got. Now this guy here, so this is cool. Check this out. They gave me one of those problems where you have to like mix and match this with these guys here. And they even told me to unscramble the letters. <laughs> so something like this here with this guy, it has many different solutions. I provided two solutions down here. And then uh, per your request to unscramble the letters, if you unscramble these letters, it says logarithm. But yeah, I cheated. I went online and I found the word scrambler and it said logarithm. So shh, don't tell anyone I cheated. Let's see this one here. So that it says find X, then call the number. So I saw this equation for X. X is a crazy number. And then I just, you know, called the number ring ring. So let's see. So how about this one here? What's now this problem here? Look, so I combine these two guys into one and I got this here. But I, I, when I saw this in purple, I'm like, hold up, because it's four. And then it says X over Y plus Y over X. But what's up with the four? Is the four multiplied to just the first fraction or to both? So I sort of slammed on the brakes and I hesitated to continue because I'm not sure where the four belongs. Are there parentheses there or not? So for that reason, I was unsure of what to do. I would need to be more convinced of what the problem says, right? Now here, the, there were no directions, but I'm guessing the goal was to simplify or to evaluate. And right there, I think it says nine over nine. So log base 10 of nine over nine. Well, nine over nine is one. And then log base 10 of one is zero. So zero divided by that is still zero. And zero times all of this gibberish is still zero. I like how they actually put a matrix. That's a two by two matrix. That's pretty cool. I just noticed that. <laughs> so this would still be zero. And the, yeah, matrices, you'll learn about matrices and honors pre-calc if you take it with me in the summer. Let's see, now this one here. So they said, evaluate this without a calculator. But the thing here is that I see an, an equal sign and this is a number. So this is an equation. And now equations can be solved, but not this one because there's no variable. So here it says 42 equals all of this. So, I mean, if anything, the answer is just 42 because <laughs> you're telling me that 42 equals all of this here, right? So maybe the 42 wasn't supposed to be there. I'm not sure if it was scribbled out or not, but then it says like, do it without a calculator. So can you guys do this without a calculator? Cause, cause I can't, <laughs> right? That looks pretty crazy, right? Yeah, cause I'm looking at these numbers and, and you see, I'm saying I can't do this without a calculator, not because it looks scary, but because of the relationship between these numbers, like a 62 and a 7 and a 16. I can't think of an immediate connection between some of these numbers, but it looks beautiful, right? Maybe I'll throw something like this at you guys in a future team quiz. Thank you for the ideas. <laughs> so yeah, so these were the period five problems. Thank you guys for your effort and for your creativity. I love doing these kinds of things. So now I have to go and take care of period six.